Hello out there to all of my 30-day challengers. Welcome. I am Albert Bellamy. And I wanted to check in here. I wanted to tag on a video to the end of the 30-day Ultrix challenge because some stuff has happened. And I want to give everyone an update on what's been going on since we finished that challenge, the first scheduled run low these short eight days ago. Now, I just want to say nothing has ended. The videos are still there. The internet lives forever. If you want to start the challenge now, you're more than welcome to do that. You haven't missed anything. We recorded all of the stuff, even the live sessions. Go back, watch them, have fun, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. But the original cohort of six or seven hearty souls of us that did it in September of 2023, that ended September 30th. Some of us took the test. Some of us still kind of working on it. That's fine. Some people got sparked licenses, all that sort of thing. I wanted to wrap it up in 30 days. I wanted to show that it could be done in 30 days, and, and a couple people did accomplish it in that time frame. So that was excellent. Um, I just followed that up by knocking out the auto insights credential, the, the micro credential. Okay, hold on a second. I'm like truncating my screen here for reasons which will become obvious. Okay, yeah, there it is. Cool. Um, I'm working on, I don't have my full setup of multiple large monitors, so, but I'll tell you about that. Okay, so the Auto Insights micro credential, this bad boy right here, just knocked that one out. I had to take two attempts to pass it. I took it about a month ago when it first came out, and uh, I didn't pass it. And I don't think I actually got all that close. It's kind of funny because I'm, I've am i been working with Auto Insights, and bottom line is it's a tough test. So let's take a look at the study guide, and then we'll, we'll kind of talk about the test. So I, I won't bring up the full study guide because most of the, the micro credentials the full study guides it's it's a lot of kind of boilerplate repetitive stuff let's just talk about what's in here there's 40 questions it is a 70 percent pass rate it's a little more stringent than some of the uh core micro credential tests um but yeah 40 questions it's tight to get it done because i had to either look up or verify quite a few of these questions Again, despite the fact that I'm working with this platform and I'm teaching this platform, the test gets into a lot of minutia and configuration, administrative stuff, stuff that the designer tests have sort of moved away from. But I think because with Auto Insights, they can't really require anyone to do a hands-on component. They really kind of nug down on the... the administrative, the configurative, that's even the word, side of things. So I, I found it very challenging, despite having a kind of close working knowledge of the platform. Um, I did pass it, got about a 90. Here's what I'll say about it. So the focus is in on foundations of analysis, analysis and auto insights. <laughs> the difference between those two I'll let you download the study guide and you can see the individual things it highlights. Interpreting insights, sharing missions and adoption. The thing that caught me off was focus on the administrative rights, who gets access to data sets and stuff like that, that that gets harped on quite a bit. Um, didn't really see that coming and, and those questions were tough. Okay, uh, but download the prep guide, take the test. Here's the thing that I'll tell you about the test. I am not sure. People always ask me, like, will this get me a job? No, nothing's going to get you a job. Only you can get you a job. People get jobs all the time with no certifications whatsoever. People get jobs all the time without a college degree. There are a million, millions upon millions of ways to get a job. And so, no, no one piece of paper is ever going to get you a job. Not a bachelor's degree, not a master's degree, not the Google Data Analytics Certificate, not the, what is it, the PL300, the Microsoft one, none of them. None of them are a one-way ticket to a job. You are the only one that can go in and get that job. However, I will tell you, Designer Core definitely makes you more marketable, especially in businesses that, that are invested in Alteryx and that know that you can come in and get a running start with that. Auto Insights, I will say that it's very exclusive. 
not only is that test certification very exclusive, the access to the platform is exclusive. Now you can get a 30 day access. I would say download, it's not downloads on, on the cloud, but you can get a 30 day license to use auto insights. I suggest you do that to study up for the test. It is a very, it is an exquisite platform. It is not cheap. It is not even as cheap as designer. So you can kind of play with the numbers in your head. I believe that this will make you more attractive to large companies that use these exquisite systems that have the money to invest in auto insights and machine learning and all that sort of stuff. So highly recommend that you take this test to, I think it'll be a good feather in your cap, especially if you are angling for jobs that involve using Alteryx. Um, okay. So we can close those out. Actually, let me let me take it back to just me for a second. You may notice I'm not in either one of my studios. I'm in a hotel room. I'm in London to teach a training package, which is awesome. Not Nothing really to talk about there, but my first time in the UK, very excited to be here. I just got here today, so I'm a little jet lagged and messed up. But um, yeah, I'm, in, I'm here to teach a training course for a week. I was going to continue this month doing uh, Alex Freeberg's sequel videos. I did those months back, got off track with that. We did the 30 day Alteryx challenge. I've started back doing some books, which I'll talk about that. But I, um, I wanted to do more Alex Freeberg videos, but this week is a chunk out of the month and I'm gonna be jet lag coming back. And I didn't bring my personal laptop, which is where I tend to use uh, SQL Server. So told you all of that to tell you this. What I want to do is start leaning forward a little bit into the Tableau content for next month for the challenge. And Alex has a series of five videos. Let me take it back to back to the streets. No, let me take it back to sharing the screen. Um, so we can close that out. We can close that out. There we go. So Alex Freeberg has this five video set of initial training in Tableau. These are relatively short videos until the last one where he, no, not that, where he walks you through a full project. That's a 45 minute one. I feel like this is a pretty good warm start to the challenge. And so if you have the time and inclination, this explains how to download, which I will go over again during the challenge, just like we did with Alteryx, but how to install Tableau, how to you know, create your first visualization. And he just kind of spitballs some things. And so I, I'm going to try, if I can find the time during this week, I'm going to try and make content with these videos where I'm doing my over the shoulder with Alex and I'm flipping back and forth between doing the the work myself and watching him kind of like how we did with the sequel and then when i get back I'll, I'll do some of the sequel videos getting ready for november but we'll, we'll kind of do a slight diversion here because just because of the the equipment that i have here okay let us let's go back to just me is that just me it's not just me where's the just me screen I might kill myself with all these different stop screen. There we go. All right, now it's just me. Let me check. Yep. Okay, so Cole did that to tell you this. His series will be a good lead-in for the 30-day Tableau challenge. Yes, Bellamy, stop reading your speaker notes. You already said that part. So right here, I have been rereading Ultra Learning. I Ultra learning was one of those that I had on Kindle. I don't do super well with Kindle. I tend to kind of pick up Kindle where I'm stuck somewhere and flip through a few pages on my phone reading, and then it'll be like a month before I pick it up again. I've had ultra learning on my phone for a long time. Ken G recommended this book a long time ago, and I downloaded it to Kindle, and I've just never finished it. I've come pretty close. So I'm now, I've ordered it in hardcover, which is my new thing. I just really have a thing for hardcover books now and just how they feel, how how seriously I tend to take them and how I go through and, and I now take notes and I tab them up and I have like a little color coding system going. It's all good. 
ultra learning is something that I have been focusing back on because I feel like I need this in my life. I don't do well focusing. I get distracted by shiny things and social media and, and bleeps and blips on my phone. And so I feel like this is something that I need to take seriously and try and master. I think it relates very well to our challenges. In fact, I know it relates very well to our challenges. I actually marked a few things here. He talks like right at the start about emulating people that you that have the results that you want to get. So when you want to learn something, you look at the people that are experts at that and you try and emulate their work, but without copying. You're trying to emulate it to learn it yourself. Um, and so he talks about a lot of different projects that he did. And at one point, he outlines the nine principles of ultra learning. And just a couple of them that I want to highlight that I'm going to use in this month. So first step, meta learning, draw a map and you're you're trying to put your why out there and figure out how you're gonna how you're gonna get it done. We are gonna draw a map for the 30 days, just like we did with Alteryx. We're gonna do it again with Tableau. Skip a couple. I urge you to read this book if you have the the time and the means. Skip a couple. Um, feedback. Don't dodge the punches. Feedback is harsh and uncomfortable. Know how to use it without letting your ego get in the way. Put a pin in that. We're gonna talk about that. It's important. It's important for me to remember as well as you. And then the last one, experimentation, explore outside your comfort zone. True mastery comes not just from following the path trodden by others, but from exploring possibilities they haven't yet imagined. It's a great book. I'm only about, I'm not quite halfway through rereading it and I will finally finish it. Okay, so themes that I feel I need to work on. Finishing projects, we're, we're getting better at that. Learning with focus and intensity focusing on the thing that's going to get me ahead. I feel like Tableau is definitely one of those things. Um, so Scott Young in this book talks about, um, sorry, lost my place here. He talks about emulating others who have the skills you want, not copying them. And this relates to, I see people out there, I've talked about this before in another video, and maybe I'll link this at the end of the video if I can figure out how to do that. I feel like I see a lot of portfolios out there that are cookie cutter. They are cut and paste. You're following some thought leader who's saying, do this project in these steps, do this project in these steps, do this project in these steps, and you will have a wonderful portfolio. Folks, if you are doing that, hiring managers can see that. They see lots of portfolios. If they even look at your portfolio and they see it, and they see that you have the world happiness uh, data set, or you've done the Titanic data set, or you have done the COVID death data set, they know everybody and their brother has done that. And so what I want us to do is to emulate people like Alex Freeberg, to emulate people like Donna Bell Santos and a couple others that I'm gonna integrate into this 30 days, but we've got to take that one step further. And so we've got to follow the, the lessons that they have and kind of typey type along with them, make the project, but then we got to turn it on its head. We've got to change the data set. We've got to change the the graphs that are used. We've got to you know tweak the colors and, and say why. Say why. Why do you have it's okay to disagree with a thought leader? It's okay to disagree with me. I'm right, but you know, you can have your own opinion. Um, but I kid, of course. But yeah, getting feedback, getting outside your comfort zone, don't get get caught copying, don't get stuck in tutorial hell, where all you do is buy the next Udemy course and, and complete it. And you're just, you're just, a, you know, stepping and fetching. You're just, you just, you know, it does what it's told. Don't be that person because you will have limited utility as an analyst. You have to be professionally curious. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to emulate some free Tableau projects out there, that one in particular, we're not going to copy them. Um, yeah, already said that, reading my notes. Okay, I have a few free assets for you, some of them on YouTube, some of them on other platforms. A little birdie told me, and this is no great secret, but I don't think I'm allowed to talk about it yet, but a little birdie told me that a major e-learning platform will be running a free promo in November 
right smack in the middle of the month. That works out perfectly for us. We can use those classes and the projects that they have in that platform to build our skills, to pass the, the desktop specialist test. So, um, so that is going to be great. That is going to be totally free. Obviously, YouTube, as long as you're paying for internet, is totally free. Speaking of free, it may have occurred to you that the Tableau desktop certification costs $100 to sit for the test. Folks, I'm intent on keeping these 30-day challenges free as much as possible. That is the learning assets. That is the tests. Works out well with Alteryx because they don't charge for their tests. So it works out poorly with Tableau because they charge for the tests. So here's the thing. I'm going to pay for one person's test. All I ask in return to be eligible to be the person whose test I pay for. You have to engage with challenge content throughout the month. That means LinkedIn. That means Tableau. I'm not going to require that you like and comment every stinking post that's just that's just dumb and it's rote and it, you get labeled as a pod. You need to engage with content by both me and others consistently throughout the month. And that tends to happen organically to people that take it seriously and stay consistent with it. You must post at least one Tableau project publicly for feedback from me and others within that month. And it's got to be kind of early in the month because I'm going to pick the person towards the end. And you have to pledge to take the Tableau Desktop Specialist certification test within one week of the end of November. So at the end of November, I'll pick the person. I'll we'll work out some sort of transfer for the money. And then you've got to turn around and first week of December at the latest, let's say December 7th, the date that will live in infamy, December 7th at the latest, you have to take that test. I think that's a fair deal. I think that's that's definitely worth $100. So get geared up for that if you're excited about it. Folks, that is it. I'm excited to be here in foggy London town. I'm excited to launch a new challenge. I'm excited to do a warm startup with some good free content that you can watch and learn from. So let me know if you're intending to try the auto insights test. Let me know if you're interested in reading ultra learning. I'm not going to send out copies of this. I can't transfer you my Kindle copy and this one's mine. It's the only one I have. But let me know if you, you're interested in reading this book and, and if you've read it, what you got from it. Let me know if you're down for the Tableau 30 day challenge. It is open to everyone. It is free. I will be putting content out there on YouTube. That is free to you. Um, so give me a subscription, give me a like on this and other videos that you're interested in. Um, and just, yeah, generally say hi and, and come support the channel. So folks, I think we can officially say with that, that is all I have. Follow me and I'll make you a genuine Alteryx and Tableau hero, just like me.